Is it possible to bring a black hole down to Earth? Even the smallest black holes weigh many times the mass of the Sun. So how is it, then, even possible to bring a black hole to Earth? Well, it is indeed possible, if you have the backing of the mighty CERN, the European Council for Nuclear Research. As enthusiasts among you must be knowing, CERN is the world's largest particle physics laboratory, located in Geneva, Switzerland. The CERN laboratory is basically equipped with particle accelerators to conduct high-energy physics experiments. It is here that the Large Hadron Collider, the world's largest and highest energy particle collider is located. A collaboration has now put the facilities available at CERN for an inventive use, to simulate the jets that black holes emit. But how is such an impossible feat even possible? Welcome to Lab 360. It's time to explore. Most galaxies have at their heart a supermassive black hole gobbling the stars and dust around it. In about 1 out of 10 such galaxies, the black hole is known to shoot out a jet at close to the speed of light. Such jets are known to contain pairs of matter-antimatter particles. It is believed that such particle pairs have a great influence on the surroundings of the central black hole, over time impacting the evolution of the entire galaxy housing the supermassive black hole. But astronomers don't know how. That is because it is difficult to directly observe the microphysics in such a matter-antimatter soup floating around a black hole even with the powerful telescopes we now possess. It is also difficult to accurately simulate such scenarios with computers. So scientists found a clever workaround to study such matter up close. They turned to the CERN facility to simulate such a jet. They got the Super Proton Synchrotron Facility at CERN to spew out a whopping 300 billion protons in a mere nanosecond. These were then fired onto a target of graphite and tantalum, in which a cascade of particle interactions is then set off, and that leads to generation of multiple matter-antimatter pairs. Sounds straight out of some science fiction novel, ain't it? But no, all this cool tech actually exists at the CERN facility. The scientists were able to generate at least 10 trillion particle-antiparticle pairs through this process. In fact, the number is enough to generate what the scientists call a sustained plasma state of these matter-antimatter pairs, which we can just think of as a soup of these pairs that lasts long enough for these scientists to conduct measurements. Generating such a state is significant as it allows the scientists to reproduce in the laboratory the physics happening in these jets which are ejected by the monstrous black holes. But the scientists are not stopping at just this. They now aim to make this powerful simulated black hole jet pass through meter-long plasma, and see how their interaction leads to the generation of magnetic fields that speed up the particles in the jets. This is one of the greatest mysteries in high-energy astrophysics. But moving away from black holes, did you know that CERN is the birthplace of the World Wide Web? Yes, it was while working here that Tim Berners-Lee had invented the World Wide Web. CERN continues to help scientists bring down such rare astrophysical phenomena from millions of light-years away to here on Earth by regenerating such events using the powerful equipment it houses. Let's hope CERN continues to uncover more such intriguing physics for us. But moving away from black hole jets. What do you think is the common thread holding the narratives of the Marvel Cinematic Universe comprising Spider-Man No Way Home, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and the Adult Swim animated series Rick and Morty? Indeed the anomaly of the multiverse. The protagonist travels from one universe to another through a mystifying electric field portal, transporting them to another dimension from the present. It is beguiling to witness the possibility of a portal leading to a different dimension and universe unfolding on the screen. To see our superheroes put into action their superpowers and effortlessly open a portal is fascinating. And just when we were convinced that such inventions are for cinematic experience only, 
scientists at CERN are working hard on translating that into reality. As absurd as it may sound, scientists from this very dimension that we are living in, have claimed to have opened a portal to a parallel universe. It brings us to the question, of whether this portal will allow us to go visit ourselves in other universes. What will the implications of such a meeting have on our current universe? The establishment of CERN 69 years ago was based on the fundamental goal of studying higher energy physics, concerned mainly with the interactions between subatomic particles. With the discovery of W and Z bosons, the first creation of anti-hydrogen atoms. The invention and development of particle detectors. And that of the Higgs boson aka the God particle, CERN has held the beacon for groundbreaking scientific revelations in the world of physics. However, its towering achievement has been the invention of the Large Hadron Collider, also known as LHC. LHC is the world's largest and highest energy particle collider situated in a circular tunnel that is 17 miles in circumference and 574 feet beneath the France-Switzerland border near Geneva. The goal of LHC has been crystal clear, to allow physicists to test the predictions of different theories of particle physics including measuring the properties of the Higgs boson and studying other unresolved questions in particle physics. And rightly so, as it has been instrumental in discovering one of the most intriguing particles in physics, the Higgs boson aka the God particle, responsible for providing mass to other particles. Being the largest machine in the world, performing experiments to figure out the basic functionalities of the universe by accelerating two high-energy particle beams. And colliding them once they reach a proper speed, also led to the fear of it causing worldwide destruction. At the time of the God particle's discovery, theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking lamented the discovery. And warned that the particle could one day be responsible for the destruction of our very universe. Further, a theory surrounding Higgs boson doomsday explained, that a quantum fluctuation creating a vacuum bubble will expand through space, whipping out the universe. Though scientists assured that it will likely take 10 to 100 years for this to happen, the collisions held simultaneously for over a decade have a different story to tell. It all started with the discovery of the God particle. Besides the compelling Nobel Prize-winning discoveries under its belt, CERN is becoming part of bizarre conspiracy theories associated with the Particle Collider. The humongous tunnel is said to have opened a portal to a parallel universe. Particularly outlandish, but this might actually be true. If reports are to be believed CERN scientists are working on opening a portal to a parallel universe through the Collider. Unreal for the practical world we are living in, but is it impossible? Well, turns out, not. From 2008 to be precise, when the LHC was first made operational, it met with unforeseen delays and setbacks. However, since 2010 it has been fully functional and leading to planet-destroying theories. During one of its experiments in 2016, the LHC is believed to have caused earthquakes in Italy which were a result of plasma being fired from LHC to a lab 250 miles away in Italy. Though CERN denied the claim, theories are rife that it was the lab's attempt at opening a parallel dimension portal, a wormhole across the universe. Besides, the locals encountered intense drama of storms and lightning occurring right above the LHC lab when the experiment was underway. The intensity of the lighting and storms was linked to the LHC either opening the gate to the world of Satan or an extraterrestrial planet. Also, in 2016 a video had surfaced from the CERN's Geneva facility of human sacrifice. There was footage on the internet of a woman being stabbed by people wearing black robes. According to the video, 
The whole charade was performed in front of the Nataraj statue on the CERN premises. After the video came out, the official statement stated that it was just people goofing around, but one could not ignore the access badges hanging from the necks of the ritual performers. Well, if it were just ordinary people how did they have the access badges? How else do you explain that? However, the most mystifying theory attached to CERN opening a portal to another dimension is when the Collider faced initial setbacks. It was widely speculated that a time traveler from the future was returning to the past, which is our present, to destroy the experiment. All to prevent a mega-disaster from happening. It is believed that he destroyed the magnets which delayed the experiment and that he spoke languages no one was aware of. Doesn't it take you back to the plot of the sci-fi thriller series, Dark, when Noah travels through the portal to the future and past to save the world? Come to think of it, if there were a time traveler, wouldn't he have already traveled through time? Wouldn't he have already altered the scientific course of actions that was to be dealt with? And we wouldn't even know if our reality or present has been altered. We have dug deep into the conspiracy theories and probable explanations behind the collider and the portal to another dimension. But it is the aftermath of the experiment we need to be concerned about. Why aren't we worried about the threatening consequences it might have on our universe? According to science, if the LHC were to generate a magnificent electromagnetic field it would pull asteroids toward Earth, given the iron content of the space rock is higher. If that is higher that could mean, we'd be doomed even before the portal is open. Another side effect is the formation of numerous black holes in the cosmos. In theory, the LHC could produce miniature black holes which would still function as black holes. That will for sure lead us to collision with other galaxies or bring in content from outer space. Lastly, this particle collider experiment fundamentally has the potential to alter matter and destroy the planet. Since the miniature black holes will be trapped in the Earth's gravitational field, they will be acquiring more mass. Other scientists believe that these miniature black holes could affect other dimensions and eventually lead to the destruction of Earth. A portal through the universe, communication with the aliens, being conquered by the extraterrestrial race, and eventually the end of the world. All this feels like the plot of the television series The Three-Body Problem. So will the LHC eventually open a portal to another dimension leading to the total annihilation of our universe? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Lab360 for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.